me and stop it. And stop it, baby, that me can't stop ya. No, I stop it, and now we are what gonna give me answer for my family? Me tell you this spice and the greatest, you know. If me love spice one more time, you see. <laughs> so, that video you want me to show you right now, spice actually could show back because you don't know, as you can see, Missy Elliot in the video. And it's Missy Elliot birthday. So, spice, I show some love to Missy. And I say, Missy, go and pick up yourself. And with that, me just go show a little show back video. You see me? So, spice, I show this way. You don't know, it's a little enactment of spice I wore over a man where she had tech. You see what I say? And people may find the video hilarious, may get a good laugh off of it. And I'm sure say you are gonna get a good laugh off of it too. Me tell you no say spice need to start do a little acting in the movies, you know, because regular Mrs. Spice drop some little skits and them funny. That's what I say. So spice need to depend on the Hollywood. Yeah, me know she depend on love and hip hop. But me talk about real movie scenes. Spice will start getting it right now. But anyway, too much long talking. Make we go check out the funny clip here with spice. If this is your first time to Unstoppable TV and you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so once we upload a video, you will get notified. Zane? Missy, guess what? To find a new man. Okay, get out of here. Yes, Will! No, me not gonna tell a lie. Me find it funny. Me get a good laugh off of it. If you find that funny, comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Zane, I'm big up Spice. Come and know that she have only for haters. And the haters, them are gonna say, yo, you know funny. Right, 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 same way. But if you know that you're a hater and you can't lie, comment in the comment section. See you where I say, yo, me not like Spice, but that one is funny. <laughs> Zane, but anyway. But a serious note now, make we go up on a next topic a little bit there. And that one is a real serious topic. So, who do you remember? Me talk about the older folks now. Back in the day, you know, a neighbor could have talked to a child. When you see a child and do something where they're not supposed to do, you would have said, hey, stop that or else you're going to get a spanking. And a neighbor could have spanked somebody else's child and send them home. And when they go home to mommy, and mommy say, why you cry? And, it, I, 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 and you tell them what I say, Mas John down the road beat me. Why Mas John beat you? And you tell them, you get all another beating again because you do something where you're not supposed to do. No. That was back in the day. That I don't know. You understand? Things and times change. You can't even talk to people pitney no more. Because if you talk to the pitney, the pitney cuss you off and then go for them parents and the parents come and cuss you off and probably I'll beat you off too. A true, no? Yeah. So anyway, Lisa Anna is having a conversation right now about that very same topic and she addressed how parents deal with teachers, right? And since this whole pandemic or pandemic or whatever they want to call it everybody have them own way to call it see since this whole thing and parents have to you know spend more time with children home they get to realize what teachers go through you understand and lisa anna i talk about that right now so make we jump in i'm gonna take a listen where did the generation of parenting go wrong right why is it that you can't talk to your neighbor people <laughs> Why is it that when I walk down the road and I said to a mother today, I said, come here, you're the mother of those children, right? They have no manners. They say an older person walk on the road. And they're low. And but I say you have to teach your children manners. Right. Because if you don't teach them manners a yard, they will go out abroad and embarrass you. So those are things that parents, parents have to take responsibility. If you don't, the police do. The member of parliament does, the teachers are having it rough. That's why many of you, during COVID, nearly pull out on the hair. No one realizes what the teacher never forgot about the hair. Right? When you see all the children talk to the teachers, when did this happen? Right? 
But then everything is blamed on the leaders. Parents don't want to take responsibility. But we thought to the people, they never meet them up. And I might get, why, well, you know, now, that's okay. But I have a responsibility for a disciplined country, and it begins with a disciplined human being. So if your woman now do it, you're going to discipline you. Same way. And if more of us start taking back the country that way, you'll be surprised how you fix it. Because somebody the same little gunman them where you say, oh, I'm going to put it in all them so. And say to them mother, look, you're picking it for draw. You wouldn't have but a problem. But you would be told nowadays you can't have to mama, you can't have to kids. So because we are not informing and having the proper mentoring for mothers. Right now you have mothers whose poor cervix can't open properly to deliver the baby. Why? Because they're 13 and 14. Mm -hmm. Don't know to believe. But we talk the thing straight. Yes. Yes. So you have some little pitney, mm -hmm. a deliver pitney. You have some granny, well, under 35. That can't work. That, that's almost a flip in the natural order of life. So if we're flipping it that way in Jamaica, what do you think of that? You think crime just happened overnight like this? And violence? And people, you don't want the poor lady down in Trelawney. The man take her phone and, and she beg him in front of her child. The man want to rape her and she said no and shoot her in front of her child. Mm -hmm. Come on man. When I was minister, because of domestic abuse, the lady go back and put off the little girl's head and carry her in a bag like a pig for the dump her. Where did we get here? So I'm, yes, I'm your member of parliament, are you? but there are things that occupy my time and my thoughts. Because I have a next generation that I'm worried about in this country. You talk about, if it can't only be about Southeast, it has to be about Jamaica. And it has to start with friendship. It does. You are an elder. You see what is going on. I am 30 years younger than you, but yeah. I see what is going on. Right? And the truth is, these young people, yes, they have talent. Yes, they have passion. Yes, they're bright. They just need direction. So that is why I even have these younger ones who are coming into my system to run us as leaders as well. Because they, I have to look to them to lead that generation too. And it will require you assisting us by saying, boy, MP, you have one or two in the community. This one want to an artist. This one mother can't afford it, so we can help. But it, it cannot be that we're not planning for the development. Right? My job alone is not only fixing the road. Mm -mm. And I don't see my job that way. Right? If I don't help to fix a next generation of poor in this country, I might as well give up. <laughs> and, and, and the truth is, unless you fix that next generation of poor, you will not have the kind of community friendship that you really want. <coughs> Trust me when I tell you that. Right? So all of us together now, see him here, Romaine, get the young people, get them together, let us do the scholarship program for them, let us tell them that, look, for to really become qualified, you need to give four years of your life. That's what it's going to take. It's going to take dedication, it's going to take hard work, but that's what you have to do to qualify, and once you have education, you can reach anywhere you want to reach. All of these young people here are from Monique, and they're a testament to what education can do. So if they can do it, the other young people can do it. You understand? You understand? Sit there, listen, and talk up the thing them. What you say? Some of them are going to agree the same way, no? No. So I don't know how to agree. But real talk, gone are the days when children could get disciplined by total strangers. You understand what I say? And a lot of things change. And that cause society to change too because children don't have respect for adults no more. You understand? If you are not my mother, you are not talk to me. If you are not my father, you not talk to me. And pitney a cuss off adults these days. You see what I say? So because of that, some adults just hold them head straight and nobody say nothing when them say pitney and do something wrong these days. You understand what I say? 
Watch on one people, this has been another one from Unstoppable TV. Like, share, comment, and comment in the comment section. And definitely, if this is your first time to Unstoppable and you have not yet hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button now and turn on all notifications. So once you upload a video, you will get notified. Until the next video, no matter what, don't make nobody stop you. I'm Unstoppable, and I'm out. Right now, you know we Unstoppable. Unstoppable.